Hello viewers, my name is ad.videoeditor, that's not my real name, but that's the name you guys should know me by. And in today's tutorial, I will be going over Sony Bump Map. So let's get right into it and open up Sony Vegas. And now you're going to import your footage, and if necessary, like mine, you can just adjust the length. And as usual, in the bottom right hand corner, you will find this icon that when you hover over it says Event Effects. And you're just going to click on that to open the Video Effects window. And here you go. And you're going to find Bump Map, which should be the seventh down from the list. Click Add and OK. And now this window appears. And you're, um, for right now, I'm going to take the effect off just so I can explain something. A bump map is exactly what it says. It's a map of the bumps. At first, I personally, I'm not afraid to admit, I thought it was something with color, but it's literally what it says, a bump map. And if you don't know what I mean, just tr keep the effect on. See how um, there are bumps all over the screen. And like it says, bump map, bump screen, that's what it does. And you have all these adjustments here that you can make. So first you have the location, and under source, if you click that down, you have the square, and you can move the location of it all around. And the location will generally use the brightness of that selected area. So the wall is a little bit brighter, so if I use the wall color, it gets a little brighter. Or if I go down to, let's say, down here where it's dark under the desk, it looks a little bit darker. Although for right now, I'm going to keep it... I'm going to find a good light, maybe right about there, and that looks good. And then you have this lever here, which just adjusts the brightness. I'm going to keep it in the middle so it looks nice and a decent brightness. And then you have the light type. There are three different light types, but first I'm going to go over directional. And in directional, you only have the source option. In other ones, you have this destination option to use. So next I'll be going over the intensity, and the intensity is the same with all of the light types, no matter what you use. It adjusts the intensity of the light. So when the intensity is all the way up, it's very bright. When it's all the way down, it's very dark. So I'm going to keep it where it was, right about there. And then you have the ambience, and the ambience is similar to intensity. However, the brighter it gets, you notice the bumps seem to fade away and the image looks a little bit less bumpy with pretty much no bump map whereas down whereas when it's down you can clearly see the bumps and if it's up the bumps seem to fade away and next we have the shininess and if you bring the shininess up you'll notice it gets a little bit darker but that's because you need the bumps to be darker so they can be shiny so you see here, if you look at the bumps maybe around my speaker or my desk over here, they're, even though the image is dark, they're sh a lot shinier than when the shininess is down. See how, much, how blended they are. And it's almost like there are no bumps in the video. And then you have the bump height. And this pretty much adjusts how much bump is, in, how much bump is visible. So if I take my bump height and bring it down to zero, that is pretty much no bumps and the video looks just the way it had before the effect. See if I take the effect off, there is very subtle difference. And if I increase the bump height, you'll begin to notice how the bumps form, and the higher I get, the bigger the bumps get. But for right now, I'll keep it, I'll keep it a little bit higher than default, maybe right about seven. And the next one is the bump channel. And if you click it, you'll see that it has these different colors, but the colors just refer to how the bump is laid out. So you see right now, by default, you're on green. But if, I cha if you change it to red, then the bumps will appear a little bit, whoops, on blue also, the bumps will appear a little bit differently. Alpha is a combination of all the colors, so when you click that, it looks like there are no bumps in there. So I'm going to keep it as default on green. And next, you have um, the white is high, checked. And when you uncheck this, it pretty much um, inverts the way the bumps, highs, and lows are. 
So you see around here, if you see up here, and if I uncheck it, it sort of reverses itself. So where the bumps highs are now the lows in dark, and the lows of the bumps that were dark are now the highs, which are a little bit lighter. And so it's all about how you need your video for that. Okay, so now that we went over how everything works in directional, we're going to change into the spotlight. And now that spotlight opens up, we have the destination area here. So well, let's first go back to source. The source is where your light is coming from. Imagine that you're shining a flashlight, and this is the position that you're holding the flashlight in. So if I was holding a flashlight up in the upper right, and the destination is where you're aiming the light. So I could aim the light all the way down the bottom, and you see it's very faded because it's far away. But if I change the destination to the middle, and I move the source in the middle, it is very bright. And so next, once again, we have the intensity. And the intensity only increases the, the spotlit area. And the focus, the focus adjusts the ring of the spotlight. So if you have this focus smaller, the ring is a little bit smaller, making the focus a little bit more focused on one particular object in there. But if I bring the focus out, it's pretty much focusing on everything in the video, so you can't really see that ring and spotlight effect. So I'm going to keep it maybe a little bit smaller so you can easily see that circle and spotlight it provides. And also, once again, you have the ambience, which will, as you increase it, you will get that the um, brightness, the intensity will increase as long as decreasing the bumps. And also, as you, if you notice, in Spotlight, only what's in the Spotlight has the bump map. So if you look all around, there's no bumps out here. Only the bumps are only in here. And the shininess is pretty much the same. You can kind of see how it's a little shiny there. And the bump height, you increase it. Bumps get a little higher. And these are all the same. Lastly, we have Omnidirectional. And you don't have the destination for this. This is pretty much uh, just like wherever the flat, wherever pretend you're holding the flashlight again, wherever that's holding it, that's where you're shining on. And so um, it's pretty similar to directional. So you know, intensity increases intensity, ambience increases intensity, and decreases the bump height, and all that stuff is all the same. But if you switch back between directionals and omnidirectional, you'll just see that directional is more focused on everything, where omnidirectional seems a little bit more focused in one particular area, depending on where you have your light source. Okay guys, this was my tutorial on the bump map effect in Sony Vegas. Please continue to watch my tutorials for the rest of the month, and please comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow.